Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a fun one here. 2023 Bowman Chrome Baseball Mega Box Edition. It's a dual case break, so it's 40 boxes. This is pick your team number one. All card ship, we're looking for the exclusive Mega Chrome patterns. Maybe some autos, a lot of fun stuff. Let's get to it. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Appreciate you. Here on a Wednesday, the 11th, 2023, October. Spooky season, ladies and gentlemen. Weather is getting a little colder around these parts. So I think a lot of you are probably feeling a little extra chill in the air. All right, so we've got sort of an awkward shape. But let's pull the camera back just a little bit here. Let's pop open our first mega case. We did load up another one, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Check that out. Empty box. And there's one, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20, okay. Slide these to the back over here. Bring this back over here, and here we go. Mega box, 35 chrome cards total. That's the configuration there. Yeah, so that's, that's what we're looking for here as well. And good luck. Got a little, little bit of a sponge thing there. Let's pop that down there. Box one of 40. Good luck, everybody. Thank you for getting in. Jackson Holiday on the box. Oh, and these are the, okay, I see. I see what's happening. Here. These are the Megas right here. It's a uh, different pack. All right. And all card ship, everybody. Good luck. some fun ones here. There's a nice Celestine and a Cam Collier Green, 31 out of 99. We've got an iconic Manny Machado. That looks pretty cool. I like this it's Mojo pattern, right? But they're they're calling it, I think a Mega, they're calling it Mega Chrome pattern is what they're saying. All right, and I'll do a uh, autograph or a notable card recap at the end. I think it's mostly going to be parallel hunting for us, though. Next one. Good luck. Is there a sponge on the bottom? Oh, I, if I open from the bottom of the box, I don't have to deal with that sponge block. Sponge block square pants down there. Uh, we got baseball happening, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a quick look at the, uh, the scoreboard here. Phillies putting the hurt on the Braves today. They lead the series 10 to 2, or they lead the series 2 to 1. They beat the Braves 10 to 2. Braves managed 10 hits, but only had got two runs out of there. Phillies had 11 hits, about the same, but home runs helped them out. Powered them to 10 runs on 11 hits. So the mega pack boxes, or the mega box packs look like that. The other ones are just, just regular ones? The other packs are just the regular ones. 
Wonder, are, are the Braves going to tie this up? I don't know. Phillies have looked great in the last couple of games. Uh, Astros are leading the Twins 3-1, to one, top of the sixth. Astros lead the series 2-1. They're looking to close this out in Minnesota. And then my daughter's trying to avoid the sweep in Arizona. Got Sebastian Walcott, love, love his swag there. Some iconic. And Victor is tourist back there. These aren't numbered, and but, but we did see numbered possibilities with that Cam Collier. Who does everyone have in the Astros Twins game? You think uh, think the Twins are only down two runs? They still got six, seven, eight, nine. They got four innings to go. There's a lot of lot of game left. A lot of game left. What uh, what does everyone think about my Dodgers? Dodgers at Diamondbacks. Lance Lynn on the mound. Think the Diamondbacks sweep, or do you think the Dodgers take a game? There's a green Lazaro Montes, 25 out of 99 for Seattle. That's going to go to Dustin and the Mariners. And that's, uh, oh, and the Cam Collier also went to Dustin, who had the Reds. All right, so some notable cards going to Dustin early on. He's been having a great day today. All right, next one. James is thinking sweep. Yeah, I'm not too confident with Lance Lynn on the mound. I mean, who, who, is, who is an experienced player for sure, but just this year, gave, gave given up a ton of home runs. I suppose the Dodgers overachieved this season. They didn't do much in the offseason, and everyone was calling it like a retool. You're not a rebuild, but sort of a retool kind of year. Maybe even reset the luxury tax and try to do that. And You know, and the fact of the matter is, maybe they did overachieve. They really didn't have, kind of like the Rays. Rays lost pretty much their entire rotation. Dodgers kind of lost a lot of starting pitch they're counting on as well. And, you know, the youngsters perform admirably in the regular season, but the playoffs are a different beast. Here's a Corbin Carroll rookie card. It's going to go to Tim and the Diamondbacks. It's good for the hobby, though, seeing these guys perform well. That's my silver lining. There, there are your Mega Chrome cards next. So if these results stand, let's say Astros, Astros Rangers. 
Who does everyone have in that series? That's a, that's going to be division rivals in a CS. I feel like that's going to be a fun series to watch. Could get chippy. Who does everyone have there? Francisco Alvarez rookie card. Rangers are playoff hot. It's hard to bet against the experience of the Astros, though. There's Alfredo Duno, who's one of the kind of in the upper tier of. Yeah, headline the uh, MLB Pipeline's number four rated prospect in the class this is going to go to Dustin and the Reds. That's the kind of stuff we're looking for out of these mega boxes. I think there must be, I don't know, per case, how many autos should we expect in a, a case of mega boxes? A couple, I would think. And if the results stand, it'll be uh, it'll be Phillies, Diamondbacks in the playoffs. What are we feeling there? Phillies, is Eric? You know, I bet Phillies fans wouldn't mind seeing the Astros again for a, for a little revenge setup. Let's see. I'm, we're looking for parallels here, but there there's some, and mostly prospects in this Bowman Chrome, but. We've got a Volpe rookie card badge there. That's for Matt and the Yankees. And the Rushman going to Dustin and the Orioles. Ooh. Dust off your Edward Julian cards, ladies and gentlemen. I think he's a rookie in a lot of these sets. Uh, he just hit a solo shot. 3-2. Astros. He is one of their top prospects. is fired up he's at the top of the oh yeah they're at the top of the order so we've got some blue in there save a Josh Young I don't know if I saved one already but there's a Josh Young Gunnar Henderson for the Orioles and I'll be for Dustin DY with the Rangers, you'll get all the Josh Youngs. All right, and some blue. We got blue for the boys in blue. 
That's Jesus Galiz for my Dodgers. Valdemar has the uh, has the Dodgers. There you go. 120 out of 150. Nice little color match there as well. I mean, to be a top, to be a number 24 prospect, Dodgers prospect is pretty good considering how deep that farm system is. Some more color in there. Good. Good. Love seeing the color. There we'll save a Yoshida here for the Red Sox. That'll be for Greg. Hopefully, we'll find some parallels. That's what we're really looking for. But all of those Yoshidas will ship to you, all card ship. There's the blue. And it's behind Brady, take it to the house. Wow, it's a, oh. It's an iconic, but it's Wander. Harry with the Rays. Not sure what's going on with that situation there, but I feel like the longer we don't hear news, or updates. I feel like the the worse it is. Yeah, it's always so disappointing. You see the iconic insert, you see blue, you see, and then you see the player name, you're like, oh man. There's Edward Julian, just hit a solo shot. Right on cue. This will go to Rennie and the Twins. We got some purple. Here, purple chrome. Jason Churio. Nice, Jason Churio. And a Bowman Ascensions. Which in the hobby cases are usually uh, one per case. Not sure how they fall in megas, but there you go. Cardinals, Jeremy Port. Nice Jordan Walker, Bowman Ascensions. And a Jason Churio for Chris Parent and Cleveland. This is for you. 51 out of 299. Tampa Bay Times, they wanted to play in the Dominican Republic Winter League. I didn't. I don't need the Tampa Bay Times. I just need James. James told me that. All right, but no updates on his legal situation. Adrian, this is the Bowman Chrome Mega Break. The only Bowman Chrome Break we have on the site. 
Now remember, Adrian, and this, this is a good time for me to do a public service announcement. There's always a schedule there that you can take a look at. And that'll tell you what we're doing, what we're gonna do. Sometimes I'll put some filler information in there, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Great resource. There's also a shipping tab there that'll tell you what the status of your brake is if we have something to ship you. Hopefully, hopefully, we have things to ship you, ship to you. But that's a useful resource as well. Less useful is my the Joe's Picks tab, where I try to prognosticate some games here and see who the winners are. Nice, an autograph. Andrew Pintar. It's for Tim in the Dimeback. There you go, Tim. Number 29 of Diamondbacks prospect in the corner MLB pipeline. First auto. We got a Brandon Maia Bowen first for the Yankees. That'll be for Matt. Daenerys just walked a guy who the hitter hitter forgot a uh, hitter forgot to forgot what the count was. It's blocked for you. Hmm. I thought I had the setting. I thought I had a view only setting going there. Try that. Let me know if everyone can see, if, uh, if everyone can click that link and if see if it works for you. Ooh. Is he safe? No, they say they got him. Are they gonna replay? There's Jason's brother, Jackson Cheerio. And another autograph, a Twins auto, Brooks Lee. Both links work for Eric, all right. Thank you, Eric, for checking. There you go. Did I not get the Dodgers in this break? Hmm. You did. And what did this person get? Sorry, Stacy. No, you are this. The, you do have the Dodgers in this break. Number one. I don't know how that other person's name got in there. Yeah. 
All right. There you go, Stace. With the Dodgers, there's everybody else. Right, onwards. You're welcome. Sorry about that. I'll double check the entire list after this too, just so just so I make sure I everyone's correct info there. All right, next box, then we've got one, two, three, four, five, eight boxes left, and then one more case to go. I think, I think we're about 25 minutes into this rig. Yeah, I think this is about an hour long, uh, hour long break, give or take. I to open two boxes at a time in the next case. I might be a little bit quicker too. All right, so all cards ship. You'll get all of these. But the whole point of this is trying to get some of the exclusives in here. There's another Maya, and we're looking for autos in here, numbered cards in here, all that good stuff. And some of these Bowman firsts. Jan, you got a Brock Bauer 1955 Retro Auto 99 in the, in the four case break. Nice. There you go. Classics. Actually, let's start that process now here. chooses the jerseys for a game day you think that's like you think everybody gets a vote on the team is it players only do coaches get a do coaches get input on it is it just team captains that that get to choose I don't know if everyone every team does captains or not but I wonder how that works You think it's just equipment staff? Uh, they just, they get to decide? You know, you guys are wearing this today. You think players don't care? They just, they just, equipment staff hangs up the jerseys and they'll just say, all right, this is what I'm wearing today. All right, uh, yeah, I don't know, that could be possible. That's how it was when you were playing sports on the on the professional level. There's a Gabriel Gonzalez Bowman Chrome autograph. Nice. That's going to be for Seattle. That'll be for Dustin. Dustin, you'll get the uh, Celestine as well. Oh, not on the professional level. So I'm sure there might be some slight differences on the pro level, though. Nice. Iconic blue Corbin Carroll. That's for Tim and the Diamondbacks. It's out of 150, I think. Yeah, 118 out of 150. Nice.
Although now I now I remember a time. I don't know how much. Remember when Chris Sale was with the White Chris Sale, White Sox. I think it was Chris Sale. Who uh, who openly talked about how he hated one of the uh, alternate jerseys that the White Sox had that they were forced to wear. Maybe regular season, postseason has to be different, right? That has to be, maybe regular season, you might not have as much of a choice. You have to, you have deals with the manufacturers and the manufacturer says, you gotta wear this once every two weeks or something like that. Doesn't matter what day, but you gotta work it into the rotation. Oh, nice, Jan. You got a White Sox auto Chris Sale. <laughs> well, that, I think, that's regulated by Major League Baseball. I, I don't think they're going to allow everyone to wear different jerseys. Like one wearing the home jersey, one wearing the away jersey, one wearing some alternate jersey, one wearing a City Connect jersey. Visually, that would look terrible on TV. That's right, there's the story. Took your cookie saying Chris Hale didn't like the uni so much that he cut up a bunch of them in the locker room so the team couldn't wear them. Ah. Just red ass Chris Sale. He's just like, uh uh, these are dumb. But I don't know how, uh, someone needs to, we need an investigative reporter on this. Maybe there are manufacturer deals, like for, with Nike, does the jerseys, right? Maybe there's a deal that says, hey, you gotta wear that City Connect jersey at least once in every round of the playoffs or something like that. You gotta sell jerseys, right? All right. We got some Riley Green iconic. Tigers, that's going to be for Nancy. Juno for the Reds, that'll be for Dustin. And the final four boxes of this case. And then we'll rip another case, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, we're already at the 33 minute mark, so maybe this will take a little over an hour. I've never ripped any of these mega boxes, so. A little, little iffy on the timing, but I'll, I'll update the schedule. I'll update the schedule uh, when I'm done with this break. That's right, Rex. The Phillies are playing like they mean it. They always seem to get hot at the right. They did this last year, too. They always seem to get hot at the right time. Of orders, but not a lot of orders for the fillers for the new releases. I guess nobody's interested in new releases today. We still have 20 left, we're holding at 20 in the Prism Baseball Hobby Pack break, which gives away teams in Select Baseball. We're at 29 in the update dual case filler, 
Both of those are only $27.99 a spot. Chance to win, and then uh, only 30, only two spots gone in the Bowman University football filler. That's $16.99 a spot. I thought that'd be flying off the shelves. But we'll go through some orders after this in about another 30, 40 minutes. And then we'll see uh, what direction people want to, what direction people are going in. Yeah, thanks, Duncan. Thanks. I guess I'll flip over to that game. I guess I'll keep uh, ESPN GameCast open for the Astros Twins game. Let's see if Carlos Correa exacts any revenge upon his former team. So we got some blue for the Blue Jays. Here's an iconic Mike Trout. Maybe some ink for him, James. Well, we're looking for that. This is for James and the Angels. Got another Maya for the Yankees, Matt Smith. And an Adrian Pinto. That's going to go to Nancy and the Bluebirds. 66 out of 150 on that one, Nance. Final two boxes of case one, and then it's a dual case break, another two to go. Those are the mega packs, and here are the regular packs. Good luck. South Park really new trailer today for these, but what's the special about? What's special about this special? Turn Carmen Butters and Kenny into older women. Interesting. Nice, nice one, two, three for my Dodgers. Now this. This frame is where it's going to be important. Can Lance Lynn turn in a decent performance here? Save the Dodgers season. Ooh, is that some gold? I think I saw some gold. That is some gold, or maybe, or maybe that's yellow to 75. We'll find out. Got some purple here, and that's going to be Gabriel Gonzalez. 125 out of 299. Purple parallel going to Dustin and Seattle. These guys, not their Bowman first, all cards ship, but 
There's two players that should be could be uh, stars of the future. Behind Elijah Green is a yellow parallel to 75. That's Brailer Guerrero. 10 out of 75. <laughs> this Ken Griffey Jr. commercial, Geico commercial, cracks me up. Tampa Bay Rays, that'll be for Harry in the Rays. All right, case one done. Case two. Coming at you. Pull the camera back, give myself some room here. Is all the way back there. Right. Open a second box here as well, y'all. Yeah, grab, grab it. That's, that's the one. That's the one. That's right, Eric. Case two. So now we've got to check. playing center tonight. Oh, that's right. I did hear that. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Nice little bit of color there. All right. All right, Lance Lynn. I don't remember the last time the Dodgers have not given up any runs in the first inning. the orange too early. And that's the orange right there. You can still see this on the top camera. Don't be aware of that ghost up there. And we got an autograph. That's Gavin Cross. That's for David M. in Kansas City. Nice. Number 72 prospect overall. And not just in his organization, in all of baseball. That's good. As long as you're a top 100 prospect, I like seeing that. There's Jason Churio. 
$2.99. Cleveland, this is for you. That's Chris Parent with Cleveland. All right. The orange behind Adrian Pinto is Yasser Mercedes. Yas. 16 out of 25. Rennie with the Twins, who are still down a run. But they're running out of outs. They're down to the down to their down to six outs. Took your cookie saying Cross is a stud. Hopefully he makes it to the show next year. Yeah, I feel like you know, I know that Royals are rebuilding, but yes, they've got some decent youngsters in the pipeline. So their, uh, their return to success may be sooner rather than later. So those are the mega packs, those are the regular packs. All right, onward. Oh boy, Diamondbacks fans at this bar, they, they've got the, they brought the brooms out of their closets. Good luck, gang. Another two boxes. This is just the just the base. But the action is is that stack right there. So let me just flip through these really quick. All card ship though, so you'll get all those rookie cards. That's where your Bowman firsts are, for the most part. Behind Jackson Churio is Jesus Galiz. 260 out of 299 for Stacy and the Dodgers. Nice iconic. Mega Chrome Parallel, Francisco Alvarez. Rennie with the Mets. Not number, but in that exclusive parallel. Love the look of that iconic insert. Twins game going into the bottom of the uh, eighth. Twins are only down a run. And they're trying to stay alive. Astros lead that series 2-1. My Dodgers trying to stay alive too. They're trying to avoid a sweep. Chase 
your vase. All right, your Mega Chrome cards, the Mojo Refractors, nice Ethan Salas. I was wondering where that guy's. Where that guy was. Rainer Arias is pretty solid too. And there's uh, Jader Arinamo, 48 out of 99. Brewers, Dustin with the Brew Crew. Tristan has the Giants. Arias is one of the, I think it's Arias, right? He's one of the bigger names, bigger prospect names. Yeah, your number 15 international prospect in that class. Ethan Solace is a huge name. Harry with the Padres. We got we got to find more of this guy, Harry. Uh, it's a start. With BMW certified, the difference isn't just one thing; it's everything. It's just like doing two. It's All right, another two. Jennifer Garner owns a Once Upon a What is Once Upon a Farm? Another Ethan Salas. We can start looking for some color. Another Ethan Salas. There they, there they are. There they are. There they are. All right, here we go. With these. There's one of the Ethan Solaces that we saw. Harry's happy about that. Got to try to add some more here to the pile. There's another Arius right there for Tristan and the Giants. And there's an autograph. Joe Lamp? Or do you think it's Lampy? Chris with Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. From Petaluma, Northern California. Number 29, Guardians Prospect. That was terrifying. Whenever Lance Lynn gives up a long fly ball. Baseball reference, do you have a pronunciation guide for me? No, don't know. I'm gonna go Lamp. All right, there's an Ethan Salas. 
Another one for Harry and the Pirates. And Purple Chrome. 196 out of 299. Edrin Rodriguez. Erod. Dustin S. Seattle. Did you get him? Wow, what a recovery. There you go, Max. Lynn is wearing a, uh, and usually I don't really associate, I'm not good with like athletes and what, what number they wear, like some of my friends are really good at that, they're like, oh yeah, number 27, like so-and-so, and I'm like, what, who, really? So yeah, the gate code is Antonio Gates, uh, Michael Jordan, and you're like, what? I don't know that, but 35 I do associate with Cody Bellinger, and Lance Lynn is now wearing Cody Bellinger's number 35, so from like the back, you're kind of like, you know, and they have very different body types, so it's, so it's kind of, it's kind of funny at first glance. They're like, wait, oh, right. All right, Twins have not scored any runs in the bottom of the eighth. They're going into the top of the ninth. They're going to try to prevent the Astros from adding on runs, and they're going to look to walk it off, or, or at least tie it, in the bottom of the ninth in Minnesota. And we got an iconic Corbin Carroll for Tim in the Diamondbacks, second one. And we got a D'Angelo Sarmiento. That's gold. 35 out of 50. Nice one for Rennie and the New York Mets. Yeah, among the headliners of the Mets international signing class. Another two. We're at the hour mark. Looks like this is an hour and a half break. I was I was thinking hour, but no, thought wrong. Hmm. This is where Lance Lynn gets in trouble. He puts some runners on. Puts some runners on and then gives up the home run. The solo shots, you can live with solo shots. And also, I feel like the Dodgers have not been very good closing out innings. Two outs, but now two singles in a row. 
Keep it in the ballpark, Lance. Three and one, come on, Lance. We got a Celestin, a Felneen Celestin for Dustin and Seattle. Number two prospect in that international signing class. Nice pitch, Lance. There's a Davis and De Los Santos for Tim and the Snakes. That's uh, 117 out of 299. Nice, good strikeout. Lance Lynn's fired up. Good job. All right, Dodgers offense, wake up. All right, eight boxes to go. Buffalo Wild Wings Buffalo commercials. What, what do we think about those? I, I think that Buffalo is kind of funny. So kinda, I'm kind of liking it. Polestar. Where are we into that? Are we into Polestar? Electric vehicle. Whose pro who's project is that? Is that a is Polestar Volvo? Volkswagen? Or independent? Are they solo? All right, and there's another Celestin for Dustin and the Mariners. Another two boxes down, another two boxes coming up. We're almost there. 
Definitely took a lot longer than I thought this was gonna be. It was an hour and a half break instead of an hour, but thanks for hanging with me, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching, thanks for joining the break. We got another double header loaded up. I don't know, if we hustle, we might be able to get another one of these in the books tonight. Now that I have a better idea of what our timing is gonna be on that. All right, there you go, Kike. Kike single. We wanna, we wanna be starting something here. How do we feel about managers getting interviewed in the middle of the game? Is that not a distraction or is that just part of the game now? We'll have to get used to it. They interview players too, I don't know if I like that. Oh, that double play is not what we need. Come on. Casas iconic, and we got a Luis Serna Bowman first gold, 41. That is 41. It can't be 51 out of 50. 41 out of 50. That's gonna be uh, for Matt and the Yankees. 41 out of 50. And the Tristan Casas. And an autograph, Henry Bolt. Nice. Hmm. That's an interesting way to do it. Just rip the mojo packs and then just send the uh, send the other stuff evenly. I wouldn't mind that. Brad Maia for Matt and a Tristan Casas iconic blue for the Diamondbacks, or Diamondbacks, for the Boston Red Sox. That'll be for Greg. that for the Dodgers. That means I could flip back to the other game, which is going into the bottom of the ninth. Astros at Twins. Astros have recorded an out already. Twins are down to their last two outs. Ooh, Royce Lewis? Royce Lewis up to bat. This could be exciting. Ooh, Royce Lewis wanted that one. Swings through some 96 mile per hour heat. Ryan Presley. Royce Lewis. Come on, Royce. Yeah. 
Yeah, he definitely did. He's just got to stay healthy. I think he's just encountered a lot of injuries for this league. If he can stay healthy, that's what he could be a superstar in this league. Oh, in the dirt. Trying to get him to swing after that. One and two, the count now. I think that's a magenta on the bottom. That's the first one of those. And some blue. It's looking, looking like some nice color right there. There it is. Ethan Salas autograph. And Royce Lewis one and two the count. Now it takes another ball in the dirt. Two and two. There's the Ethan Salas. Harry with the Padres. I'm sure was getting a little nervous as we got to the final two boxes. And James is thinking that's the image variation auto. So even better. There you go, Harry. Thanks for getting in. We got a blue Luis Torres. That's for the Angels, that's for James. Three and two the count to Royce Lewis. Strikes out on a curveball. James has 36 out of 150 on that one. And then we've got a Jackson Merrill, also for Harry. Another solid prospect here. Not his Bowman first, but this is numbered. 58 out of 199. 19th best prospect just in all of baseball. Not just the organization, entire MLB. All right, final two. Max Kepler is the, is the last, could be the last batter. Twins just have one out left. Twins are down a run in Minnesota. Oh no. Lance Lynn give up a home run? To Perdomo, right, okay, great. All right, final two boxes. All right, we got three and one to Kepler. If he can get on, who's hitting behind Max? Oh, is that Correa? Wow, that would be a moment. All right, now it's three and two. If Kepler can get on and bring up Carlos Correa, former Astro. Ooh. But Kepler has to get on first. Give Correa a chance. Wow, he rang him up. I think that was a strike though. That was dotted. I mean, that was in a perfect spot. Astros advance to the CS. They're gonna face the Rangers. That should be a good series. Divisional rivals flip back to my Dodgers. Lance Lynn gave up a solo shot to Geraldo Perdomo of all people. But I'm okay with solo shots for now. <laughs> All 
Oh no, and Kettle Marte hits a solo shot. I guess that's still just so, it's only two nothing, that's okay. It's still, still okay. Jeez, 428 feet. All right, there's another Rainer Arias for the Giants. Yeah, Dodgers bats do have to wake up. I didn't did not think the I, I knew the starting pitching was going to be a challenge, but just did not. I mean, the bats going this cold. Nice Oswald Oswald Peraza, not Oswaldo. This is Oswald Peraza. Bowman Ascensions in the uh, Mega Mojo Parallel. Nice one for Matt and the Yankees. About one per case, it looks like. And that, my friends, is that. We are done. Hour 17 and 30 seconds. Thank you for sticking with me here. It took a little bit longer than I thought, but I appreciate everybody getting in. Here's a quick little recap. That Ethan Salas was nice. Got some nice color, some nice prospects, some nice people. Oh, thank you, James. I definitely forgot about it. <laughs> so I appreciate you reminding me about that. Two being given away here. So still have a chance. If you did not do well in this break, don't worry. You still got a chance at those playoff promo spots. Two of them being given away in this one. All right, so let's flip back to the list. There's your quick recap. Let's flip back to the list over here. Let's gather everybody's names. Tim down to Mark and everyone in between. New dice, new list. And let's roll it and randomize it. Six and a four, 10 times. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? No, we'll, we'll do it with the name. Six and a four, 10 times. Top two after 10. Where is, where is that again? Just wanna make sure, yeah. Two, right? Top two after 10, six and a four, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and fingers crossed, 10th and final time. So from three on down, sad times. Three through 30, thanks for giving it a shot. Chris, very close, but no cigar. We do have to do a lot of these. There's like 30 promo breaks. So we're, we're not even a third of the way through giving away all those spots. So keep trying, folks. All right, and congrats to the top two, Mark and Jeremy Port. Congrats to the both of you after 10. You're in the top two. Lancelin gives up another solo home run. That's what he does. All right, and we'll see you next time for the next one, jazbeescasebreaks.com. There is a next one, ladies and gentlemen, so if you want to do one, let's get after it, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Bye-bye.